Hi, I'm Councillor John O'Shea. I'm the Cabinet Member of Street Scene and Parks for the City Council. And you're joining me today here on Millennium Green in Acox Green, which is one of my local parks. Now, it's not actually maintained and by the City Council. It's actually maintained by a group of, of uh, trustees, as one of the Millennium Parks established around the turn of the, uh, the last century. And these are a group of volunteers who look after it. The council is the freeholder, but they look after it for us and they maintain do all the hard work about looking after it. There's such a, such a variety of different green space here. You've got this small patch of, of uh, open space you can see. We've got the, the Tai Chi going on behind me. But you've also got wooded areas and even down to, down to the canal. Um, over the pandemic, we know how important all the green spaces in the city were to the people of Birmingham. For many people, this is the only green space they've got of any size where they can get out and enjoy the open air. And it is vitally important that people use that because it makes it safer for everybody. The more people are using a, a green area, the safer it is, the better it is looked after. And if you can have a friends group, or as we have here, a group of trustees looking after a park and supporting the council in their work, uh, they act as a force multiplier. They allow us to do more work. They bring more money in and we can make our parks better. We, we actually are now able to show that green space is not a dead weight on the council, it's a real value to communities and it's a real financial value to the people and to the council. The role of the park is not just a bit of green space with some flowers and some grass. It's an integral part of society, it should be an integral part of life and whether you're just walking through it, seeing it, using it or actually knowing that it's helping to make you healthier all the trees around here help to scrub the air of, of, of dangerous chemicals and, 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 and contents and, and, they are, and they are taking CO2 back out. I think we actually need to, to engage more with some of our communities uh, that perhaps don't see the, the, the parks as something for them and also perhaps don't have access to them. We know that some of our uh, most deprived wars are not just deprived financially or in, or in the field of health but they're also deprived in, in the access they have to green space. So that's got to be a driving force for the council into the future to ensure that we create new green space in and around some of our most deprived wards.